In this video, we'll look at the molecular geometry for IBR3. So we start out with the Lewis structure, and we can see from our Lewis structure here that we have the iodine, three bromine atoms around it, and then we have these two lone pairs here. Iodine, it can have more than eight valence electrons, so it's okay that it has this expanded octet. So to find the molecular geometry, you can imagine that these things, all of these five different things here, are pushing away from each other and spreading out, and that'll give us our molecular geometry. It's helpful to visualize this. Let's do that. So this is the central iodine atom. We'll put those three bromine atoms on it. There's one. We put the second one, spreads out the third one, and it spreads out as well. So right now we have this trigonal planar molecular geometry, but we have those lone pairs and they occupy space. So we have two lone pairs, put one up here and then one more. And now we end up with what's called a T-shaped molecular geometry. So the molecular geometry for this IBR3, it is called T-shaped. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. So if we weren't able to visualize that T-shaped structure based on the repulsion of these groups here, we could look at this two other ways. First, we could count the steric groups attached to this iodine. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and two of them are lone pairs. Let's take a look at a table. So we had five things attached to the central atom. That's the steric number. And then we had two lone pairs over here. So we come over and down. That gives us a T-shaped molecular geometry. We would expect this bond angle to be 90 degrees right here, and then straight across here, that would be 180. We could also use the AXE notation to figure out what our molecular geometry was for IBR3. AXE, where A is the central atom, X, the bromine atoms, we have three, and E are the lone pairs. We have two lone pairs. So if you look AX, 3E2 up on a table, again, you'd find that it's this T-shaped molecular geometry. For the electron geometry, since we have those five steric groups, it ends up being trigonal bipyramidal. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry for IBR3. Thanks for watching.